Pero el juego es un mentiroso, un ladrón. Ay, no, pero regresa a Venezuela para enfrentar la justicia. Juan Guaidó es un traidor, es un tipo. Tiene que volver a Venezuela. Es un payaso que en toda Venezuela se burla de él. Nadie en la oposición lo quiere como representante. Mi nombre es Leonardo Flores. Estamos dentro del Wilson, Wilson, Wilson Center. Because Juan Guaido is being platformed today, a so-called so conversation about Venezuelan democracy, which is absolutely hypocritical because there's nothing democratic about Juan Guaido. Juan Guaido is a guy who has spent now four years trying to overthrow the Venezuelan government through very violent means. Guaido is, in, is involved in bezel, embezzlement schemes, such as with Monomeras, a company in Colombia. I mean, there's so many reasons that Guaido should not be anywhere but in Venezuelan jail. And unfortunately, he's being platformed here by the agents of regime change. Guaido was introduced by William Brownfield, former Venezuelan ambassador to, or U.S. ambassador to Venezuela. Brownfield's the architect of the sanctions on Venezuela and before they were implemented he did an interview in which he said we're going to have to impose sanctions that are ca going to cause extreme suffering on the Venezuelan people. So he knew what the sanctions were going to do. They've killed a hundred thousand people in Venezuela because of the sanctions and Brownfield was for them anyway. And then he was introduced by Mark Green, former administrator of USAID. Again, another mastermind of the sanctions. So he, he, complete, he, he always says that he sent humanitarian aid to Venezuela but it's false. That aid has been captured by that Guaido and his allies. And really what we want is the $3.2 billion that the U.S. promised to release as a result of the negotiations in Mexico that the Biden administration hasn't released. $3.2 billion to go for social needs in Venezuela.